finding a new location at this late date is out of the question. The house is in your name. We have your signature on the agreement. I'm afraid there's nothing more to discuss. Mr. Clement, if you come here against my husband's wishes, I won't be responsible for any consequences. <laughs> You can take your trucks and your people and turn them right around. Why don't we just step inside and talk about it? Don't huh? come any closer. Couldn't ask for a better place to shoot a horror movie, could you? I don't know. I don't like the idea of spending Halloween in a place like this. Would be the ghost, would it? <laughs> don't laugh. You know, a guy in the crew said this place was supposed to be haunted. Sensational. I could use a good scare. What time's Colt supposed to get here? Well, he said he'd leave right after he finished that second unit stunt, so we ought to be able to make it before 10 o'clock tonight. Mr. Dover, your wife has given me full legal authorization to shoot in your home. Now, if we have to start looking for a new location at this late date, it's going to cost us hundreds and thousands of dollars. And you can be sure the studio will sue you for every penny of a loss. Is that a threat? Call it what you like. The last thing you want to do is strong-arm the guy. This calls for is a little good old-fashioned diplomacy. Uh, how do I don't want to get involved. Take your money, Kramer, and go. Uh, uh, well, wait a minute. Howie Munson, Mr. Doville. I'm glad to meet you. Look, I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking that a herd of buffaloes is going to stampede through your living room and they're going to destroy everything in their path, right? Get this man away from me. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. The fact is that we hire people whose only job is to make sure that everything is left just the way we find it. Stop. Your antiques are going to be better than new. Hounds of hell drive you to doom. Don't worry about your pets, Mr. Doville. May the demons of purgatory pluck out your eyes. Now, 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 wait a minute. You can't talk to me like that. May you, uh, may you, uh, may you turn into a goblin on All Hallows' Eve. Oh! You are cursed forever! You shouldn't have cursed him so horribly. Well, you want to talk horribly? What about the things he has in store for me? Yes, I'll, I'll try my best to make him revolt the curse. Don't bother. I don't believe in any of this nonsense. Oh, the poor, poor dear, and so young. Uh, but Mrs. Doville, uh, tell him that if he'll revoke, so will I. Very well, I'll try my best. sense of humor, a funeral parlor? Yeah. The uh, butler here will show you the uh, rooms. This way, please. That's not a butler. That's a brick wall with pails. Hey, what's up there? Stairs lead to the east wing. I can see that. Nobody's permitted into the east wing. Nobody. Yes, sir. Hey, whatever you say is okay by me. Out behind me. Really? Hey, if you want to take a shower, it's in there. Huh. 
Thanks, I just had one. You got tomorrow's call sheet? Uh, right there on the dresser. Ah, 6 a.m. call. What's wrong? Nothing. It's the actor I'm doubling for the next five days is Anthony Marcus. What's so bad about that? Douglas Fairbanks. He's convinced he doesn't need a stunt. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, he wrote the book. Well, look at it this way. Just that much less sweat for you. Yeah, a lot less money. When Jason told me I would be bunking with a stunt person, I thought he was talking about Colt. Well, sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> look, darling. Why don't you just do the decent thing and switch rooms with him? If that's the decent thing, what do you call what you have in mind? Uh, I think there's a French word for it. <clears throat> um, aren't you going to put on a nightgown? This is my nightgown. Yeah? <sighs> yes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and Colt will call Mommy for a glass of water in the middle of the night. <laughs> He's such a little boy at heart. <laughs> huh. What's that you're reading? Curses, spells, and hexes. I found it on the shelf. Oh, that's good thinking. Now you can find out what's going to happen to you now that you're cursed. Yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> well, kid, you don't believe all this stuff, do you? It says right here that a goblin is an evil spirit that takes on a life form after it's dead. 